In today's video, we are going to be focusing on pin curls. Pin curls serve as the basis for patterns, lines, waves, curls and rolls that are used in a wide range of hairstyles. You can use them on all types of hair, including straight hair, permanent waved hair, and even naturally curly hair. Pin curls work best on the hair when it is layered and smoothly wound. This makes for long lasting curls with good direction and definition. So the very first thing that we need to always focus on prior to starting our service is we need to professionally sanitize our hands. This helps us maintain the highest level of infection control for not only our safety, but for the safety of our clients. Products that we will need today is our mannequin. We need a towel to drape her, a shampoo cape, finger waving lotion, our hand sanitizer, a water bottle, all-purpose combs, and I have a double prong pin curl clip. I do need a handful of those. The very first thing that we are going to complete is the application of finger waving lotion. This product does allow the hair to have more pliability when molding and directing the hair into a pin curl pattern. I will then take the wider side of my all-purpose comb and I'm going to create a straight parting to signify the side of the head. In a pin curl pattern, very similar to a finger wave, we do need to create a C formation in the hair. This is going to give us the direction and tell us which way the hair wants to, to mold. So I'm creating that C shaped pattern heading towards the face. For my pin curls, I am going to take a one inch by one inch square in a later video, we will talk about the different types of bases that you can use. I'm going to flip my comb over to the finer side. And now we're going to talk about the three parts that are essential for a pin curl structure. The first most important element of your pin curl is the base. So once I've created that square section, this is the part that we consider the base. The base gives this pin curl structure and it's closest to the scalp. So I'm going to take my comb, the finer side of this comb, smoothing this hair out. I am going to pinch my index finger and my thumb in a position called the stem. The stem is the section in between my base and my curl, and this is going to give the pin curl direction. I am going to smooth out the rest of the hair and the hair ends with my thumb and index finger of my dominant hand. This is a technique called ribboning. The hair that I'm smoothing out, this is considered the circle or a curl. So smoothing out that circle or curl, I will now take the ends of this hair tuck them underneath that stem and wrap that up. Placement of your pin curl clip. I can approach this in two different methods. I open up my double prong pin curl clip. I'm going through that circle and into the base. That's one way that you can approach this. The other option is to come from above and go down. Either way that these pin curls pins are placed, it could never go all the way through the pin curl itself. 
What this creates is what's called a line of demarcation. When the hair is dried and the bonds have changed within that hair structure temporarily, you will not be able to get out that line of demarcation. So again, just to back this up, to take this out, I'm going to insert that pin curl clip. As I continue along this head, I'm going to carve out another one inch by one inch square in the same fashion using the finer side of my comb, smoothing that section of hair out. I'm going to pinch at the stem, my base. This hair is nice and smooth, flat to the head as much as I can. Ribboning that section of hair out Take my hair ends under. I need to make sure that they are tucked and they're not poked out. And from here, I will take my pin curl clip and clip that through the circle into the base. For my next section, I'm going to continue in the opposite direction. So I need to start in the open center, which will be exactly where I ended off. So again, creating that one inch square, smoothing out that hair, the finer side of my comb. I'm going to pinch in between the base and my stem, ribbon that hair, tuck, roll that hair, and clip. My last section, again, pinching, smoothing that section out, tuck, and clip. Okay. And that is your professional pin curl.